today I'm out here on Lake of the Ozarks fishing out of my kayak and going after some crappie. Uh, we got really good warm weather today and uh, it's the uh, beginning of April, first week of April. Red buds are blooming, crappie are biting very well and uh, we're getting a mix between the pre-spawn and spawn now so it's one of my favorite times of year is to go catch some crappie and we're gonna go and tear them up today. Let's go see how many we can catch and hopefully get some for dinner. Alright guys, made it over here to the first spot. I'm going to grab a rod here from behind me and we're going to start off with a, a white glow tube jig. One sixteenth ounce jig head on there. Start dock shooting some of these darker holes where these pre-spawn crappie are setting up at. There's the fish. Third shot in. A little further up on the dock today. That's a keeper too. We'll take that as a starter. Heck yeah. That's a pre-spawn fish. You can see it's got a little egg pouch in there, but I'll get a quick measurement on her. I'm, I know it's a keeper, but I want to see how big it is in uh, inches. Got 11 incher to start off the day, and uh, we're gonna get him on the strainer and start loading this thing up. I can keep 15 a day um, at a Lake of the Ozarks over nine inches long. So that's kind of our goal here is to get a quick limit here after work and make a video for you guys. Take my tube jig about arm's length away from me, pinch the head, turn it that way, have my finger right here, kind of in that little slot on my rod where the seat of the reel is at. Let go at the same time. If you load that rod up, you can just kind of catapult that thing wherever you want to. And I'm letting it just kind of hit right now and fishing the top part of the column. And as I start to uh, go through some of these fish in the top part, I'll work my way down the water column, let it sink down a little more each time. And that should get me quite a few bites today because fishing's been decent. There he is. We're just down a few feet more than what I was shooting out at the beginning. This one's a little closer to nine inches. I'll get a measurement and see if he'll make the cut. I'm gonna keep everything over 10 today. He makes it right at 10, so I'm gonna throw him on the stringer. go. He's down there a little further yet. That one's going to be close to that 9 to 10 inch range as well. But different color jig caught him. I'll let this guy go back in. He made it to 9.5, not quite 10, but I'm trying to keep it. a little bit. I had a bite right there away. Right off the bat. There we go. That's a small one. I have to let him go for sure. Alright, yeah. Let's put him back in. Let him go back down. Thanks for the fight. There we go. Not quite the size I'm after yet though. Well, he might be closer than I think he is. All been white crappie so far. I mean, pretty pale too, but definitely in the pre-spawn. We've all got eggs. That one is right at 10. So I'll get him on the strainer here and that'll be keeper number three for me tonight.
go. Push on. That guy's too small. He's barely hooked too. It's a pretty light bite. Yeah. He's right at nine. I'm gonna let him go back in. See you, buddy. Jeez. That one came and crushed it. But again, they're not that good in size. Another little guy. Send him back on his way. I have to weed through so many smaller fish to get to the keepers tonight, it looks like. I guess technically nine inches keeper. I just don't like to keep them when they're that small. That's my personal preference for it anyway. There's a hit. Feels like a better fish. Maybe not. Yeah, he's gonna be kinda around that 10 mark. Let's check him out. Yep, he's right at 10, so keep her number four of the night for me. Sweet. Give you guys one good look at him right there. Just to before I put them on the stream here. Through the gill pit, out the mouth, down there to the rest of them. There's my four so far. First one I've got on there is the biggest at 11 tonight. These schools are pretty active this time of year. So they're getting ready to feed up for that spawning cycle. They're about to go through. Water temperatures like low to mid 50s all around the lake right now. So um, I'm probably in a cove on this channel right here where this channel swings at. It's probably in about 52, 53 degrees water temperature from what I've been seeing out in my boat and what all the fishing reports have basically been saying lately. So he's crappier in a good feeding mood right now. The water temperature ends are pretty active in. There he is. It's not a big old slab like I'm wanting, but I am catching them pretty consistent. I'll let him go. He's not going to make the cut. See ya. There we go. Basically straight down from me is where they're hitting it. They're all so pale still. That one's another one right at nine. Tiny one. See ya. There we go. That one's a keeper too. Change the docks here. him 
higher up in the water column too. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with his tail? Looks like he's got like a broken, broken tail or something right there. That's weird. That's really weird. So she's actually nine and a half. I'm gonna let him go back and uh, let him live on with that really weird tail that he's got going on there. That's strange. Swam off just fine. Like the thing got injured at some point. That was a bite right there. Oh, he's on it. He swam towards me. Oh, that's a better crappie. Yep, that's yeah, definitely a keeper. That's the best one of the night. Awesome. Nice slab. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's great. I don't need to measure him for uh, being able to be legal or not, but I do want to see it, just how big he is. I think he's probably 12 to 13. Let's see. Yep, 12 and a quarter inch white crappie right there and just full of shad or eggs, one of the two. And that one hit on the fall. I felt the hit and thought that the fish wasn't on there because my bait was still falling. But he was actually swimming towards me and putting slack on my line. So that's pretty cool. Fish number five on the strainer. Right in the spot there. I'm drifting a little too far past it. Here we go. Should put me right where I need to be. I think one might have it. No. Yeah. Oh, there was a bite. There we go. That hole is three for three so far, and this one's going to be legal, Let's see if he's up at ten or not. Healthy fish. That one's just making the ten cut, so we'll put him on as well and make number six. There's one. That's a better fish. Heck yeah. Sweet. Got another good one there. That is at 11 inch, so better than the average so far tonight. Hey, there's a fish. At the end of that old stiff arm. It's good to see. Let's see how big it is. It's another 10 incher, so that one's gonna go onto the strainer as well. Keeper number eight for me of the night of the evening.
All right, guys, it's going to wrap up this session out here after work for me. Uh, I'm losing some daylight, and sun's going down right now, so I'm going to head back to the boat ramp and uh, go ahead and start cleaning up some of these fish so I can go and cook them up for dinner. If you guys enjoyed this, leave me a thumbs up down below, and I'll come back out here and do some more dock shooting like this this spring. And uh, consider subscribing if you have not yet. Uh, I know we've been growing quite a bit on the channel, and I really thank all of you guys who are new to the channel and uh, helping me do that. So. Uh, thank you guys so much. Have a great day. Explore deeper. There's more out there. We'll catch you on the next one.